Today we're going to talk about SQL Server joins, inner, left, right, and full outer. Hey guys, Joey Blue here, and today I want to talk about the types of SQL joins. Um, and you can see here I've got a picture, and these are some Venn diagrams back from my math days. Um, they really help to understand how the inner join, the left join, the right join, and the full join, um, how they interact with each other. And then back over here, I have um, a couple of tables to help us understand these. I have a customer table, and it's a really simplified table with four rows. We have um, the four customers. We have a column that's city ID, and then we have the customer name. And this goes right with the city table, which is pretty simplified also. And we've only got three cities in there. Okay, and we can take a look at both of these together so we can get a real good look at what's going on here. So today what we're going to talk about first is the inner join. So if I pull this up, um, what we have here in these Venn diagrams is we have a customer table and it's a circle on the left. And we have the city table and it's a circle on the right. Now on the inner join, we're going to get only the stuff that's in both tables. So the stuff that matches in both. And so what do I mean by that? So if we go back over here and look at our our tables, we can see that the customer table is actually joining over to the city table by this city ID. And so what we have here is this first customer record, Bob Smith, has city of one. So that city of one corresponds over here to Kansas City. So those two will match and when we do our inner join we should get those records. Next, we have the second customer, which is Sally Smith, with a city ID of one. So Sally Smith, if we look over here, also lives in Kansas City. And that's a match, and so we'll get that record. So then we have Tom Smith, who has a city ID of two. So if we go down here to the city ID of two, Tom Smith lives in New York. So that's a match, and we'll get that record. But if we look at Mary Smith, Mary doesn't have a city ID in here. So Mary doesn't match anybody over here in the city table. So in that case, we won't get Mary. So let's go ahead and write this inner join. And let's see if we can get that intersection between customer and city. So in order to write that, I write select star from customer. So that's my first table. And then I do a inner join. And then I do that with city. And what we have to do when we join something is we have to say, well, what do we join it on? What are the two things that are supposed to match? And in this case, I'm going to say on customer dot city ID. I'm going to say that equals to the city dot city ID. So that's where we said we want to match the city ID from customer to the city ID from the city. So now if I run this, we expect to get one, two, three records that match, but we won't get Mary Smith because Mary Smith doesn't have a city ID. And also if we look down here, the city of Houston, the one of three isn't being used over here at all, so we won't get Houston either. So let's see what that looks like. So now we got the results and we've got the three records we thought we would get. One, two, three. And we have the city with each of those records. So that's the inner join. We only get the stuff that matches. And notice we didn't get the Mary Smith or the Houston in this case. So the second type of join that I want to talk about, because the inner join is one of the, the ones you'll use the most. The next most you'll use is the left join. And so the left join, what we have is we want everything from one table, the left table. We want all the matches, first of all. So if you look, we have this matches part here. And it's the same thing as the inner join. But then we also want things that don't match from the customer table. Okay, so what does that look like? Let's talk through that for a second. So in this case, we want 
everything from the customer table, so that's this first table. We want all the matches and we want things that don't match. So in this case, we already know the matches because we got that on the inner join. But we're, we also want to get this other record of Mary Smith. And Mary doesn't have a match to city. Okay, so let's go ahead and change this query to say left join and let's run this. So now what we're getting, we got the first three records. So the first three records are the exact same as the inner join. So if we look back over here, those first three records, when we did an inner join, are this intersection part that's blue. You come to the left join, those first three records are still that intersection part. But we got one more record that's this outside stuff that didn't have a city match. And that's this Mary Smith. Since Mary Smith didn't have a city ID, there's no match of records over here on the city name. So now you get to the question of, well, which table is the left table, which table is the right table? Well, in this case, I wrote this specifically in one line so that we could see visually which tables on the left side of the join clause and which tables on the right side of the join clause. So that's exactly what that means. So a left join will give you everything on this side, on the left side of the join clause, even if it doesn't exist in city. And if we switch these around, we're going to get a different answer, but I want to do that just yet. So let's switch over now and let's take a look at the right join. On the right join, we want to get the intersection, so we want to get everything from that inner join. But this time we also want to get the stuff that's a city, even if it doesn't have a customer with it. Okay, so if we go back here and we look at our two tables together, we'll see that we have Houston that isn't, doesn't have, actually have a customer attached to it. So we think we're going to get these two cities have customers. Kansas City is attached to Bob Smith and Sally Smith. And New York, the, num the city ID of two, is attached to Tom Smith. But Houston isn't attached to anybody up here. But in this case, we're going to do a right join, and we should be able to pick up that Houston. But on the right join, we won't get Mary Smith. And that is because we're only getting the intersection, the things that match, and we're getting anything else in city, even if it doesn't match the customer. So let's come over here, change this to a right join, and let me run that. So now you're seeing we picked up all the people that match. So this, these first three rows we picked up the whole time. We picked up on the inner join and the left join and now on the right join. But we're also picking up this one city that doesn't have a customer. So that leads us to the final join we're going to talk about today. And that's the full outer join. So the full outer join, at this point you probably understand where we're going with this. But it's going to get the intersection, so it's going to get what we get in the inner join. But it's also going to get all the customers, even if they don't have, even if they don't have a city attached to it, and it's going to get all the cities, even if they don't have a customer attached to it. So in order to do to do that, we're just going to say full. And I run that, and now you're seeing we've got the first three rows again. Same thing as our inner join, but then we got this row. So this was Mary Smith. When we did our left join, we picked up Mary, but Mary didn't have a city attached to her. And then we picked up this fifth row, which we picked up the city of Houston that doesn't have a customer attached to it. So those are the four joins. There's a couple other things I want to say about them real quick. One, I've left out a couple of things that can really help you too. So whenever you're doing like a left join, first of all, it's the, the full syntax is left outer join. So if I run that, that runs also. 
outer is an optional word, so you don't have to put it in there. But if, it, if you like it and it makes more sense to you, you can. You can do the same thing with the right. It's a right outer join. Or you can do a full outer join. And you get the outer part because when you go back to this description, the outer is everything outside the intersection. So we got the right outer, we got the left outer, we got the um, just inner. So all we're getting is the intersection and the full outer is going to give you stuff on both sides. So now that's optional. So let's take it out because it's optional. Now we can also alias our tables and this is you're going to want to do this a lot. So if I alias this as um, CS for customer and I alias this and let me go ahead and put as and I alias city as CY for city so once you've aliased this as CY, you can come in here and you can do CS for customer and you can do CY for city. So let's come back here and run that. And that runs it. And, and now that we're in line here, we also probably, now that you know what a left and a right is, um, I usually format these a little better. So let's go back and let's just do a left join. And now I've got a little better syntax so I can see it and I can even do my from clause on a new line. And so that's going to run. You can also come in here and you can say I want all the columns from my customer CS dot star and then you can say I only want um, CY dot city name. I don't want the ID to show up. So you can specify what columns you want up in the select clause. And then also let's talk about filtering. So here I've got a left join on, on um, from customer to city. And what if I want to go ahead and do a filter on the city name? So you can still use the word clause and you can say where CY.city name equals to Kansas City. So you can still do a word clause on this and it will filter. You can also do a WHERE clause up here, but you get a slightly different answer. So if I do where the city IDs match and where CY.CityName equals Kansas City, let's see what our answer is. So this is the one error you may get on the outer join that gets a little bit confusing because in this case, what happened was we did a full, a, a left outer join on customer. So we got all of our customer records. Here, here's all four customer records, right? But we only joined on two of the city names. So when you put the city up here in the on clause, you will actually filter down the city table to only Kansas City. So let's go back here and let's talk about what this did. So this came up here to the city and it's basically like we said where city name equals Kansas City. So the city table got filtered. So now this is what we're looking at. So if we look at this and, and do a left join, you can see that we're a left join where we get all four rows but um, we're only going to get the city name for this one city ID because it thinks hey there's no other cities in this table because we filtered it on the on clause. So this will filter your table before the join happens. So it's like you have this instead of what we originally had which is we had three cities and so we picked up New York on Tom Smith. So let's run this again so you can see the results. And you can see that it's like we filtered that city table down to just Kansas City so Tom Smith didn't get picked up either. So if you put it in the on clause it will it can really mess mess it up a little bit. Now let's try it with the inner join. And so now in the inner join since it it wasn't an outer, we only got matches too. So we could come in here 
put it in the where clause and we'll get the same answer whether we put it in the on clause or the where clause right but when we had it as a left join then we got the same answer so anyways it's a little bit different um, if you put it on the on clause or on the where clause and that's the difference there and one last thing I want to talk to you about is whether you want to use the right join or not. So there's there's one other way we can do this. So let's take this back to an inline view or inline statement. I'm going to get rid of this filter. So if I look at this query, so we get all four rows from the customer table um, and then we didn't get a match for a city there. So if I turn this into a right join and I run this, now I'm get picking up that Houston. So instead of a right join though, sometimes what you want to do is just reorder how you're doing this. So if I put city here, and I'm going to actually get rid of our aliases for a minute, simplify this back up, and if I put customer here, it doesn't matter what order you do this one here so I'm just putting those in either order so now what I've done let's go back to star okay so I clean this up a little bit so now I put city on the left side customer on the right side and if I turn this to a left join cities over here on the left side we'll get everything from the city even if it doesn't exist in the customer so let's make sure that works. So that should be the same as our right join. So now you can see we got everything from city even if the customer doesn't exist. And so you can rearrange these. The left and the right join are basically the same thing. It all depends on where you put these tables. So let's do a quick recap. So we talked about the inner join. The inner join is simply an intersection between the two tables. So where everything, everything matches. We've got a left join, which gives you everything that matches, plus anything on the left side that does not match. The right join gives you all the matches, plus anything on the right side that doesn't match with the left side. And then the full outer join gives you all from both sides, even if they don't have matches. So that's really it for the joins. There's a few advanced joins. I don't want to go get into them right now in this video. Maybe I'll have a part two soon. Um, but if you have any questions, just let me know. Just put some comments down below. Uh, subscribe to my page. Um, and let me know if uh, you have any questions.